Hello and welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Aileen Senpai. I'm a streamer on Twitch, an amateur singer, and a lover of all kinds of music. Today we're going to continue our journey with Dire Straits. I first listened to them for the very first time last week. Uh, we listened to Sultans of Swing together and I was completely blown away. A ton of requests for Brother in Arms. So that's where we're headed off next. But don't worry, I got so, 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 so many requests in the comment section. So I do have quite a list lined up for more Dire Straits. So don't worry, more is coming on the way. Um, and do enjoy these kind of videos be sure to leave a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so you never miss my videos ever again that being said let's get started with dire straits brothers in arm <laughs> Sounds like the guitar is crying. All right, I I'm going to pause here for a second. Uh, what a big change, you know. My first intro to Dire Straits was uh, Sultans of Swing and very, very different, super high energy. And I'm assuming uh, by the title of the song alone, Brothers in Arms, you know, we're not uh, we're not going to be cheerful and, and, and smiling here. You could already tell the tone in the guitar. It sounds very somber. It almost sounds like... Those little, you know, effects that he's doing playing around with those strings even makes it sound like the guitar is wailing, kind of like a little sad cry, like a, ah, like a, like just a, a lot of desperation in here. And you can even tell the difference in, you know, the inflections of his voice, the way he's choosing to uh, uh, say it in a certain way, you know, he, he's really transferring all of those emotions and it's, it's different. It's still very powerful. It's still incredibly good, but, you know, you can tell a, a huge sh a shift in, in, in emotion here, um. Yeah, uh, oh wow, I, I want to hear that guitar. I know we're getting into a little uh, intro here, uh, a little instrumental here. So I really, really want to, you know, listen to that sadness just a little bit to get more of a feel of the song. So yeah, let's continue. Through these fields of destruction of the base. baptisms of fire I've witnessed your suffering as the battle reached time and the little help was back in the fear and the love Getting that cry again.
Okay, I, I want to make a note here. Um, now I didn't want to interrupt uh, that the solo. I, I, I'm just I'm feeling so much sad. It feels like the, the 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 weight of the room got so heavy. You know, as soon as the song started, you just feel like, huh? Like it almost feels like a punch to the gut, where you're just like, and then you're listening to these lyrics, and it's just so sad seeing the suffering. You know, you didn't deserve this, my brothers in arms, and you know, uh, obviously we just were celebrating um, Veterans Day and. You know, a lot of people ha who have served or have, you know, been through a bunch of trauma or, or post-traumatic stress, seen some horrific things out there. You know, I can I can't even begin to imagine um, j just how you must feel and, and, and losing people, seeing someone you love close to you go through something like that. It's not easy. It's it's a horrible, horrible, horrible thing that I would not wish on my worst enemy. Um, but, you know, the weight of the room is just, oh, man. And I have a, I have a, a, a feeling, I don't know if it's, done purposely but obviously this is an older video so yeah it's not going to be in 4k quality we get that but it also feels very uh, um like a uh, uh hard to see almost like you know when you're feeling a uh, high stress when you're feeling anxious or when you're feeling very somber your vision kind of gets obscured and you feel like like every like you get like this weird like uh, uh blurriness i don't know how to explain it where everything seems a little distorted don't know if that was you know purposely done to kind of mimic those feelings of, of when you're in the pits of despair you know and you're just like going through it i wonder if that was done purposely obviously i know uh, uh at the age of the video and the editing all of that has a lot to do with it but um you know i've seen other videos of this time period and it wasn't done like this so i'm wondering if that's also adding to you know the emotion trying to evoke emotion um it, it evoke sadness rather um interesting very well done i might go back a little bit more so we can get i uh, catch the end of that solo and i uh, transition to the next part um but yeah let's continue <laughs> seeing that sunset he had just said now the sun has to die something like that oh is this part of it or is this just the cr okay i think that was just the person that made the video i thought it was part of the video i really liked that little touch i believe i believe correct me if i'm wrong i believe i'm saying something about now the sun has to die and then you know you see a, a beautiful sunset at the end it's almost like we're coming I don't know if it's like we're coming to terms with you know our grief or you know we're coming full circle uh you know he was saying you like you know all men must all men have to die i don't know if that was him kind of trying to get himself closure for this or you know a way to cope or you know deal with it um i'm not entirely sure i do want to read the lyrics uh, i didn't read them beforehand obviously didn't want to spoil any of it but you know this was such an incredibly powerful video incredibly sad incredibly heartbreaking you know you uh could kind of make out you know the figures you see uh it seems like we're in a war it seems like you know the people coming out in stretchers obviously there's a lot of death a lot of pain a lot of destruction a lot of trauma uh, uh you know tangled in between there in the shots and then you get the shots with the guitar and like i mentioned it really truly felt like the guitar was wailing like the guitar was also crying and it was his way of you know crying along with you know the victims crying along through his pain but you know not actually having to wail himself and letting the strings you know evoke all of that emotion all of that sadness it was 
very, very heavy. It was very sad. You could tell the way he was singing. It was so much different than Sultans of Swing. Obviously, you know, with the context of both songs, you got to kind of read the room and you got to pick and choose, you know, uh, when to let that emotion out. You can have a happy song. You can have, you know, something a little bit sadder here. And this is what we got. And I love that. I love when an artist can convey everything that they're feeling, give you a glimpse. It's like opening us almost like an x-ray vision of what's going on inside their minds, what's going on inside their heart. And they do that so well. Um, you know, it's night and day, these videos, but I love that. I love that you can get a little bit of everything. They're not afraid to, you know, be vulnerable. And that's exactly what we got here. And man, was it incredible. It was just so damn powerful. And I really, really loved this, the guitar work. I mentioned it before in the last video, the tone in that guitar, incredible. His voice is so unique. I loved the bass, you know, uh, 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 with that, you know, those solos, the bass keeping in a nice consistent tempo was just adding so much more to that, uh, that chilling factor that you get whenever he's doing a solo. He does some magic with his hands and those strings. They both do. Um, you know, the drums uh, was not as chaotic as in Sultan's, but I, I feel like it wouldn't have fit in this song. I feel like a more softer uh, uh, drum here was just kind of like keeping that sadness there and it was uh, adding some, you know, uh, power to perfect parts, you know, certain parts of the song where it needed it. It was giving it a little bit more pizzazz. And uh, I really felt like altogether, this was just an incredibly well done song. Uh, another uh, uh, home run here with this one. Um, I really, really do appreciate you guys showing me this one. Uh, we got a lot of more Dire Straits coming. I got a lot of requests. I already have I have it down on a little notepad. So don't worry, I have more coming. Um, if you want a certain one uh, up next on the queue, let me know. I do honestly read a lot of the comments and those kind of uh, I, I judge those you know based on what is going to go next so please let me know which one you want to hear but yeah wow 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 thank you for this one really really did enjoy it if this was your first time watching it um let me know what you thought in the comments and if you enjoyed my commentary be sure to leave a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so you never miss my videos ever again i also live stream on twitch love to get to know you a little bit better we are very very close to it over there we do play some music, sing, um, do live reactions, play games. We are so, so close and over there. I'd love to have you. I, I stream every Wednesday through Saturday at 1 p.m. Pacific Center Time. But other than that, I have videos every day, so stay tuned. In the meantime, please, please, please take care of yourself and each other. Remember, I love you so very much, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.